What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks WNBA player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down. Gonna be guys five picks to get you winning some money over here on prize picks and the WNBA tonight, guys. If you haven't checked out prize picks, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, points, assists, rebounds, points, rebounds, assists, fantasy score, three pointers made, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match when you first deposit up. $200 today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go to lock that in, get that free money offer. Start winning some money over here on prize picks with these picks today, guys. And if you are getting very serious, I do offer premium content packages. That's linked below in the description. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. Do offer prize picks, WNBA, underdog WNBA, as well as the MLB. And I did launch a VIP member package that I've been really looking to uh, offer as much value as possible on. It has gone very well so far. I can tell you that much. This court, I'm setting all my tickets, and we have been profiting, profiting, profiting. So honestly, this is the one I'm really, really putting a lot of effort into. If you're really looking to profit, join the KJK DFS VIP member squad. Would love to have you join. And if you enjoy the content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Like goal on all these videos is going to be 200 likes if you can help me get there. That would be awesome, guys. It's free. It takes two seconds. It really helps out. I got five picks for you I think are going to hit tonight, so I'm excited to talk about it. Uh, we do have some large spreads in the WNBA tonight, which is a little bit less than ideal. Obviously, we're dealing with some blowouts, but I do think that these are players that can get you there, uh, regardless if the game does turn into a blowout. So that's something I always prioritize when these thing, type of things happen. You know, obviously, you want to try to avoid the blowout a little bit. You can't be too scared of it, because otherwise, you're just going to end up trying to predict blowouts every single night, and that doesn't lead to anything good. So, uh, But with that being said, I do think we have a nice, fine balance in this ticket, so excited to talk about it, and let's do it. So we'll go game by game, as we always do, and the first game I want to talk about is going to be the Atlanta Dream taking on the Las Vegas Aces. This game comes with the 173 over under, so 12.5 point spread in favor of the Las Vegas Aces. I'm going to kick things off with the Atlanta Dream. Uh, they are dealing with some injuries, so they're going to be a little shorthanded on the squad tonight, but to be honest with you... I kind of think that's beneficial to us as far as the prediction because they tend to roll deep with their uh, rotation. There's going to be no Monique Billings and there's going to be no um, Nia Coffey as well, which I do think is kind of beneficial to be honest. Like I said, they're a little bit unpredictable. You can see she played 22 minutes, 12 minutes of time before, 18, 22, 23. She's typically playing like right around 20 minutes. Uh, Monique Billings, same thing. Uh, looking at her game logs, last time out, she only played five, but the time before, 20, 28, 20. So she's typically, you know, taking up about 20 minutes. Coffee was taking up about 20 minutes. You take those two out of the equation, and you bring Ryan Howard back. I think the uh, rotation is going to be very predictable. I think the usage is going to be very predictable. And I want to be taking advantage of it. Uh, so, pick number one. We're going to kick things off with Miss Ryan Howard at the top. We're going to rock with the over on her fantasy score. 25 and a half fantasy score. I think we can take advantage of her first game back of capitalizing on a low fantasy score. She was absolutely killing it earlier in the season. Went through a little bit of a uh, rough stretch there for a while, but I think she bounces back in a big way now that she's been out for a little bit, a little recovery time, um, dealing with a bit of an injury. And she can pretty much contribute in every single way possible that you could possibly want. And she has great block and steal metrics. So that's going to be the theme of this video. If you've watched my content for a while, you know that I love targeting fantasy score because it's kind of the most predictable thing based upon my model. And I love targeting players that can rack up a lot of blocks and steals. You get three points for every one of those blocks and steals on prize picks, and it can add up very, very quickly, especially if they're on the floor for lots of minutes. So I'm um, looking at the scoring chart as far as the fantasy score is concerned for the WNBA. You can see one point for points, 1.2 for rebounds, 1.5 for assists, three points for blocks, three points for steals, and negative one for turnovers. So the blocks and the steals are big, and every single player that we're going to talk about on this card is going to be uh, a player that can contribute in the blocks and steal category, and uh, Ryan Howard is definitely one of those players. You look at her game logs as far as how she's doing it, looking at these performances. Like I said, she was struggling here. She really wasn't shooting well when she uh, hit the shelf for that injury, but she was shooting great to start the season. She was putting up you know, 16, 21, 33, 19, 21, 22. Then she went on a little bit of a slump. Uh, I'm not going to let that take me off, especially considering it's clear that she was dealing with an injury. I expect her to bounce back strong here. And she, did, she does contribute in all categories. 7, 2, 3, 1 block, 2 steals. Like I said, the scoring really wasn't there, but you can see she gets the blocks, the rebounds, uh, the assists, the points. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And once again, with them dealing with the injuries, I think her minutes are going to be more solidified than ever. So uh, pick number one. We'll be rocking with the over Ryan Howard 25.5 fantasy score. Lastly, it's just I think the, the fantasy score is a very reasonable line. Uh, her ceiling is way higher than this. She could absolutely crush this line pretty easily. You know, I've got her being able to score in the upper 30s. And lastly, 
Great matchup. It's a pace-up matchup against the Las Vegas Aces, 173 over-under. While the Aces are really, really good, they have been giving up a lot of fantasy points as well because they play so fast. They are dead last in the league against the guard position in Ryan Howard. So, um, all these things. Love that pick. Pick number one, like the over 25 and a half fantasy score there. But it doesn't stop there because we're going to be going with our teammates as well. Um, so next pick, we're going to be going right on over to Cheyenne Parker. And why are we going to go to Cheyenne Parker? Because it's the same story. I expect her minutes to ramp up. She's got lots of block and steal equity. She can get buckets. She can contribute in all categories. Um, every single thing that I'm looking for out of a player, Cheyenne Parker has. And she's been crushing as of late as well. Looking at her game logs, uh, as far as how she's been faring, kind of just seeing how we break it down here once again. Very uh, well-rounded player. 21 points, 12 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. This game, she had a terrible game. She only played 13 minutes against Connecticut, but that was because it was a blowout, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, it's always important to know why a player has a terrible game. Don't just look at the game log and go, oh, she's been struggling. Well, they got blown out 93-68, to so uh, only 14 minutes in that one. Still racked up to 2 steals. Unfortunately, the other stats weren't there, but uh, then you look at the game before. She put up 14 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks, so... Uh, she does have really, really great block metrics. That's her main thing as far as the uh, blocks and steals are concerned. And uh, that grades out well on my metric sheet as well. That's something I always check to make sure. Sometimes the, the game logs are a little bit of a flaw, but if you look at that my advanced metric sheet, it'll kind of tell you on the whole season whether it's legit. Cheyenne Parker's definitely legit. She has a 4.5% block rate and a 1.9% steal rate. And then uh, for Ryan Howard, same thing. I kind of I didn't talk about her, but she has a 2.3% block rate and 2.1% steal rate, which is actually really impressive for a guard of the block rate. So... Uh, pick number two going to go with the over 22 and a half for Cheyenne Parker. Same thing. I expect the minutes to be really solidified as well with Atlanta dealing with injuries and uh, contributes in all categories there. Uh, so let's pick number two and then pick number three. We're going to another teammate. Not sure why she's not listed as the starting lineup on this page in particular, but I got the uh, other WNBA projected lineups page pulled up here. It's going to be Tiffany Hayes at the point guard position. She's returned after dealing with an injury the entire season. Her usage has been phenomenal. Don't expect it to slow down here too, too much for where her fantasy line is set at with Ryan Howard, with uh, Cheyenne Parker coming back. Obviously, some of the usage is going to be taken away a little bit, but I also think they have a far more likelihood of keeping this game competitive to the point of where these ladies can get to the fantasy score lines as well. Uh, Tiffany Hayes, you can see seven rebounds, six assists, one steal, 16 points. That's phenomenal. Uh, six rebounds, one assist, 18 points. She had six turnovers in that game. That's less than ideal. The blocks and steals weren't there, but she typically is good for one steal a game so far. Uh, one, 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 and the steel metrics do match up to that. So same thing I've been talking about. A lot of upside. I think the minutes are going to be solidified. She so can contribute in all categories. Broken record, but it's just true, man. Uh, that's why I think these are great plays. So the, Tiffany Hayes, like the over 24 and a half fantasy score for her here. Absolutely crushed last time out against Phoenix 36. And once again, fantastic matchup against the Aces, man. The Aces are the number one uh, pace up team in the entire league. Every single time they're playing, it seems like we want to be targeting them. Uh, as long as the game doesn't turn into a blowout. And like I said, even if it does turn into a blowout, I kind of think with the, the limited bodies that the Atlanta Dream have and the uh, fantasy lines for where they're set, they could probably hit these lines after three quarters. So like the over 24 and a half here for fantasy score on Tiffany Hayes as uh, pick number three. So we're going to go with the over there. Pick number four. Four. We're going to be kicking it on over to the other shorthanded team on this slate, the Los Angeles Sparks, taking on the Indiana Fever the next game. It's a 163 over under, nine point spread in favor of the Los Angeles Sparks. And they're expected to be without Liz Cambage, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, she plays quite a bit of minutes and she's a high usage player 25, 25, 28, 27, 29. You can see the shot attempts as far as her shot attempts 7, 4, 5, 6, 4. Honestly, the shot attempts don't really match the usage metrics. Her usage is pretty high, so she definitely commands a lot of attention when she's on the floor as far as um, on ball, getting it into the post, all that fun stuff. She's going to be out, and not only is she going to be out, but also there's going to be no Carter and no Tolliver. So Tolliver, another player that's playing right around 20 minutes uh, as far as Carter and how many minutes she's playing, right around 15 or so. So do expect there to be more minutes bumps and more usage bumps. And I also do think there are two very well-rounded players that contribute in all categories and have great block and steal equity. Shocker. <laughs> but hey, that's where we're rocking with this video. So pick number one, we're going to be going with the part, uh, expected starting point guard with the injuries. Now, she might not start. She didn't come off the bench last time out. But with that being said, the reason she came off the bench is because Tolliver was in. She got pulled from that game, only played 10 minutes. And then you look at Canada. She went in for 27 minutes, uh, played a bunch Four steals. She does a lot of that. Assist, eight assists. She does a lot of that. The scoring, seven points. So that was a really solid game. 27 minutes was a big minute bump for her, and I'm expecting more of the same here for Miss Canada. Um, with them dealing with these injuries, like I said, 
Kind of the same thing in the steal equity is really, really good. As I put on display last time out, she also gets a lot of assists and she will get the points now that she's going to be in the four for more minutes. 29 fantasy score last time out. Her line's only set at 21. I'm expecting more of the same here. Like the over 21 fantasy score. And once again, the uh, the steal metrics look really, really good for her. So you get three points for every one of those steals. Um, looking at Jordan Canada on the season. She is up there with top in the league as far as steal metrics are concerned. 2.1% steal metric overall for her. So pick number four. We're going to be rocking with the over 21 fantasy score for Jordan Canada. And pick number five, last one on the board. We're going to another guard that's been one of my favorites to target all season. That contributes in all categories. Gets lots of blocks and steals. She's the top in the entire league as far as I'm concerned, as far as the ability for her to get both blocks and steals. And that's going to be Miss Brittany Sykes. She's been phenomenal every single time we've targeted her. I'm definitely taking her in this spot with them being shorthanded. 27 and a half fantasy score for her. I will gladly take the over. Uh, I said this in three of her last five. The last two times out, she didn't quite get there, but... Pretty great game environment here. The 163 over under, like I said, no Liz Cambage. She should get a nice bump up here. And the blocks and steals are plenty some, and she also contributes in all the other categories. Looking at her game logs. As far as Brittany Sykes is concerned, 12, 4, 5, 1 block, 1 steal. Last time the six turnovers were terrible. That's what killed her. She didn't do that. She went crushed. Uh 16, 1, 2, 3 steals the time before. Took a little bit of a hiatus here. We can see before. Uh two blocks, zero steals, three steals. Uh, zero blocks, three, two steals, one block, one block, two steals. So she just consistently gets a bunch of blocks and steals. She also does all the other things. 10, 7, 7, 15, 3, and 8, 13, 5, and 3. So once again, no Liz Cambage. She'll get a nice bump up. She'll get some more minutes. There's also no Tolliver. Uh, there's also no Carter. So uh, LA dealing with plenty of injuries. Should be minute bumps. Should be usage bumps. Uh, love the play. So pick number five. We're going to be rocking with the over 27.5 fantasy score for Brittany Sykes. And that is my five picks to get you winning some money in the WNBA on prize picks tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, check those out. And uh, if you haven't checked out prize picks, check them out today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up. $100. Lock in these picks. Start winning some money. Wishing you all the best of luck on your picks tonight in the WNBA, and we will see you in the next one.